hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope all of you guys are doing well and everybody had a great valentine's day but on to this topic you guys recently i seen that karina posted up two ivs that they had to hook up to her and i'm just wondering why why is she lacking so much fluid like what's going on with her does she have you know the ovid that she has is that what she's suffering with like what's going on guys i really hope that she feels better from whatever it is that she is battling right now because i did post in a video i did a couple of days ago that she was rushed to hospital and a lot of people are speculating that they think that she's pregnant but we haven't heard no confirmation when it comes to that you guys now, I know all of us seen Flo's video that he posted on his YouTube showing us that Karina had to be taken to the emergency room. But as I mentioned in my last video, they never specified why she had to even go there in the first place. And they did hook her up to her IV then as well. So it seems like she had a second visit to the hospital needing another one, which I'm not too sure as to why. But guys, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. As always, I'm wishing Karina a speedy recovery, my girl. Get better soon, okay? We're rooting for you. Now, in other news, it seems like Krista has finally moved on from jazz you guys she is officially a girlfriend all right someone did organize this beautiful proposal on valentine's day to ask her to be their girlfriend and i believe she did say yes earlier we had been reporting that the person that she had been seeing was a stud called c but guys after seeing this i don't believe that that's actually the person that she's taking serious i believe c was just somebody that she had you know she was dating around but when it comes to actually settling down i don't think the person that she settled down with was that stud you guys although she did take to her twitter and said i keep the people guessing now a lot of people believe that crystal booked out the apartment herself decorated it hired catering invited her friends put up the decorations all for herself someone even hit her twitter and said the delusion be real we know you did this for yourself it's okay sting self-love is the best love and krista responded and said y'all want me to tell you who did it so bad to the point you're convinced yourself i did it myself nah boo i really lived the fairy tale i talk about i personally do not know how to feel okay it could be that she's dating at stud c and c asked her to be her girlfriend but it could also be the fact that she's dating someone entirely new one thing crystal is gonna do before she ever spends her own money is spend somebody else's okay and they're gonna do it willingly all right that's just the type of energy that she carries and people treat her that way because of how she holds herself do you understand what i'm saying so like i'm not really surprised if it's either or to be quite honest but to say that she actually spent that money herself to decorate the whole place and order catering and do all of that i don't think so you guys what i will say though is that i only will believe that she's fully moved on from jazz when she gets that cover up that's the only way i'm gonna believe that she fully moved on from jazz and there's no point of reconciliation between the two of them you get me i just feel like when someone covers up that tattoo it's done and it's dusted like you really are closing that chapter and i just don't feel like i still have that feeling in my heart like it's not fully over but let me know what you think in the comment section down below guys leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section you already know i y'all know Dwayne and Nick couldn't stay away from each other like they're always a breakup to make up couple we knew that this was coming so for valentine's day he did surprise her it looks like he got her some gifts nice chanel bag and the only way people were able to understand that he was actually the one who sent this is because he posted a picture with the same background with the balloon set up in the air you'll know back in january she did comment underneath his tiktok and she was like oh my god you know and he was like do you miss home and she was like a little bit but it seemed like she missed home way more than just a little bit honey because she went to go get her man because who's trying to sign on business this valentine's day not me i know that's for a fact okay amen all jokes aside guys i'm really happy to see them back together man this was long overdue you get me like life too short you feel me now, although Ray and Armand are both newly single and on the market, guys, it doesn't mean that they were lonely for Valentine's Day, you lot. It looks like they hired a catering service and spent some time together. It was a very unexpected link up. I wasn't expecting the two of them to link up at all. Like, that's one of the weirdest link ups to me. Like, not to say that they can't be friends, but I just wasn't expecting it. Like, <laughs> I didn't think they would even have, like, a purpose to even cross paths, like... For real, for real. But it does seem like they had a good time. And I did hear some females in the background now, guys. I don't know who these females are. Okay? And they single. So they can do what they want. Okay? And chill with who they want to. But I did hear some giggling and some feminine voices in the background. I didn't hear no masculine voices. So I'm guessing. And they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna, you know, rent out an apartment and do all of this. And then invite a bunch of niggas. That's just not what it's looking like. Okay? So... It looks like they had a good time and the food looked like it was busting. So guys, let me know how you feel about this link up. Maybe they might even do some little content together. We never know. All right. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.
Now, in recent news, if y'all have been keeping up, y'all would know that I reported that recently when Ray and Deja were back and forth on Twitter, Ray was outed for talking to Kiana and Kiana supposedly sent her a squirt video. Now, Ray did not want to see any of that. She didn't want to see it. It even says here in the tweet that you can see that she said um, that she didn't want to see any of that still to this day. And Kiana never responded or even addressed the situation. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, I was expecting her to say something, but she didn't actually dead out, come out and just address the situation and aggressively attack it, like, be like, rah, 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 you know? Instead, what she did, she just threw some subtle shade. Now, someone did say, I'd want a squirt video too. And she did repost it on her page. <laughs> Kiana is funny as hell. Because one thing, she, there's no shame in her game, baby. And she ain't deny it, but she ain't claim that she did it either, which is what I really like. But to be quite honest, I know Kiana did that ish because Kiana freaky as hell. Y'all know this ish about Kiana. For all of the the, <laughs> the followers, the OG followers of Kiana, y'all know Kiana is freaky as hell. So you know Kiana will do some ish like this. Come on now. Child, it must be the season of pregnancy, honey. Because tell me why Affinity was on live yesterday asking people if she can get pregnant while on her period. Now, she did pose the question as a question directed to somebody else or for somebody else. But we all know she was talking about herself. Because when people were telling her, yes, that you can, you should have seen her heart drop all the way into her ass, baby. I seen it. I seen it in her eyes. I seen it. Now, a lot of followers were teasing the fact that maybe it could be Demori's baby because you already know Demori and Finity have a little something, something, you know, but it's nothing that serious because she was not having it when people were mentioning Maury's name. But also, you guys, she did say that she wants to have a baby at the age of 30 and she has a while to go. So pregnancy is not on the table right now, but I'm not too sure. Why would she be asking if she wasn't a little bit scared, you know? So maybe there is a possibility of her being actually pregnant, you guys, but let me know what you think you have like the most when your cycle is on i'm in nursing school well i don't i was asking a question that don't refer to me i was just asking a little question you know trying to keep the live you know active you know i'm just trying to see what y'all got going on right now uh-huh Why are you in my business? I ain't say me. I say I was just asking a question. It was not for me. Who would I want my child's father to be? Uh, girl, hell no, not the Murray girl. Now, I done told you guys already, Dundasia wasn't wasting no time. She got that tattoo of Ray covered up yesterday and she went out for her valentine's day with her new boo de suave you guys she got a black truck to pick up lindasia she got lindasia balloons flowers listen she took her out to a fancy restaurant had her something to eat yo they're they're moving quite quick you guys lindasia was on live talking about she's in love as well she said she was joking but i don't really think so because <laughs> i just feel like she meant what she said and also you guys another thing i did notice is that cora i know you guys have been wondering where cora is what happened to cora cora and deja are no longer friends well actually cora actually jumped on deja's live and commented on her tiktok live yesterday and deja did have this to say Baby. Hi, Cora. Take you some. Hi, Cora. Cora. I'm gonna take you some, baby. Yeah, I will always love Cora. Cora, know that I will always love her. That you know, anything that happened between us, it's just between us. But that's my girl for life, and nothing. That's my. That's my baby. Cora is not Cora anymore. I'm just gonna say that. Yes, I am. I'm gonna go on my house, y'all. We about to chill and turn up for a second. That's the thing. My friends are high Valentine's, so I gotta cater to them for a second. But they're not gonna be here that long because I gotta. <laughs> they got to go. <laughs> um, thanks, love. What size you wear? A seven. Um, I don't really fuck with them because they're real. What size? You girl, oh, wow, girl. Like. <laughs> For real. Get my flowers. Come on. I'm gonna carry these. Oh, get my flowers. Aww. I got you. You sound sweet to me. <laughs> yeah, for real, I gotta get out. You like this? Stop. <laughs> Do this, for real, could y'all drop 
right out of my house. I'm not even joking. Everybody's gonna get out, including you. Cause y'all think I'm playing. Y'all, they literally about to, I can't, like for real, I gotta get out. No, I'm so serious. Like, they doing too much now. Girl, Capricorn's better than 48. Can I get the hookah? Uh -uh. Girl, this is no, for real. This is not. Bitch, not again. Oh, <laughs> everybody finna 